President Buhari aware of Maina's reinstatement, head of service alleges in leaked document. The head of service of the federation, Winifred Oyoata, says she warned President Muhammadu Buhari about the damaging damaging implication the recall of Maina would have on the anti-corruption war. A memo from the office of the head of service states that the warning against the recall of the expansion boss was contained in a letter to the chief of staff to the president, Abu Kairi. Abdul Rashid Maina denies allegations that he embezzled pension fund. A memo from the office of the head of service of the federation, Winifred Oyoata has disclosed that President Muhammadu Buhari was aware of the reinstatement of a former chairman of the Pension Reforms Commission, Abdul Rashid Maina, into the civil service. The memo also stated that the head of service of the Federation had warned the president about the damaging implication the recall of Maina would have on the anti-corruption war. The Punch reports that the document with reference number HSCSF slash HCSF slash LU slash CORE slash FCSC slash 750 slash T was dated October 23, 2017. It was titled Re, Abdul Rashid Abdullahi Mena, and was received in the office of the Chief of Staff to the President on October 23. Oya Waita in the memo said she met with Buhari after the Federal Executive Council meeting of Wednesday, October 11, where she verbally warned the president against bringing Maina back to the service. The document was however silent on the response of the president on the issue. The memo read in part, further to your letter ref. SH slash cuz slash 100 slash a slash 1570 dated 23rd of October, 2017 on the above subject matter, I write to inform you of the circumstances leading to the irregular recall of Mr. Abdul Rashid Abdullahi Mena. I wrote to place on record the following facts as it permits to Mr. A. Mena who was dismissed from service on 21st of February, 2013. The move to recall Mr. A. Mena was at the instance of a series of letters from the Attorney General of the Federation to the Federal Civil Service Commission requesting the Commission to give consequential effect to the judgment that voided the warrant of arrest issued against Mr. A. Mena which formed the basis for the query and his eventual dismissal. By, the letter of reinstatement, as communicated to HCSF Ref. 4029.82 slash volume. 3 slash 179 dated 18th of September, 2017 attached here with as Annex 4. Ostensibly also copied the Ministry of Interior which is the one erroneously used to document Mr. A. Mena on a claim that he has resumed work since 28th of September, 2017. The Ministry of Interior informed the OXF of this development via the letter ref. Me slash 1436 slash 2 24 dated 16th of October, 2017 from Ministry of Interior stating that Mr. A. Mena has resumed with effect from 28th of September. 2017 Island attached as Annex V. Please note that the OX was never in agreement with the reinstatement and consequently never conveyed the approval of the FCSC to Mr. A. Mainan or approved his posting to the Ministry of Interior or any other MDA. Rather, I sought audience with His Excellency, Mr. President on Wednesday. 11th of October, 2017 after the FEC meeting where I briefed His Excellency verbally on the wide-ranging implications of the reinstatement of Mr. A. Mena, especially the damaging impact on the anti-corruption stance of this administration. However, I have requested the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Interior, 
to provide any documentary evidence to support the claim of reinstatement and posting of Mr. A. Mainabayaks, since after his dismissal. Meanwhile, the embattled former chairman of the Presidential Task Force on Pension Reforms, Abdul Rashid Mena, has denied allegations that he embezzled pension fund. Mena's whereabouts has remained unknown since 2013 after he was implicated in a pension fraud and was declared wanted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Mena's fraud allegation and disappearance case surfaced again after he was announced as the new director of Ministry of Interior despite being a fugitive on the run. It is unknown whether this video of Mena was released before his recent promotion by the Civil Service of the Federation or sometime in 2013 when he was declared wanted by the EFCC.